All right, this is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 12, and we're going to be rounding two-digit measurements, or two-digit numbers, to the nearest 10. And uh, what's specific is we're going to be using a vertical number line, um, uh, rather than the classic, um, like if it's 32, you you underline the 3 because that's the tens place, and then you put a check mark here and you say, oh, if it's 5 or higher, you round up, and if it's 4 or lower, you round down. Uh, because the, while that is true, it doesn't really develop number sense. And the whole theme of uh, our desire is to build number sense first, and then create these algorithm super efficient techniques second that are based on number sense not replacing number sense. Uh, so that's why we're going to go through the hassle of using vertical number lines because we're really developing number sense. All right, and in this case, uh, we're going to complete this chart. Now, the, the, the problem with this chart is it doesn't really show the vertical number lines. So uh, I'm going to try and squeeze that in and really make the point. Um, so it says complete the chart, choose the objects, use a ruler uh, to complete the last two, uh, and then choose objects to make the last two problems. So, okay, let's start with the length of a desk. So it's 66 centimeters, and the idea is we're supposed to say the object measures between which two tens. And we're going to say, well, it's between 60 and 70, and then round the length rounded to the nearest 10 centimeters. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to really force that point, which is we're going to use a vertical number line. And so the key thing is to recognize that it, it lies between 60 and 70. All right, so we are going to scroll down here, and here's our vertical number line, and it's between 60 and 70. We know that smack dab in the middle is 65, and we're being asked, oops, I want this one. Okay, we're being asked to label where is 66 on this vertical number line. So 66 is going to be slightly above 65. All right, that means it rounds to the nearest 10, which is 70. Uh, because 66 is closer to 70 than it is to 60. And so we're going to scroll up and we're going to say, oh, the answer is 70. It rounds to the nearest 70. Now let's do the width of the desk here. So the width of the desk is 48, which means it lies between 40 and 50. And just to press the point, I'm going to draw my number line between 40 and 50. We know smack dab in the middle is 45, and we're being asked to label 48. So we know 48 is going to be somewhere up here, and that makes the rounding to the nearest 10 would be, it would round to 50. And so that's means 50 is going to go right here. And so uh, let's do one last one. So let's do 81 centimeters. So 81 centimeters lies between 80 and 90. And then we're going to draw that number line. So it's going to lie between 80 and 90. And we know right in the middle is 85. And 81 is somewhere down here, which means it's going to round down to 80. Uh, you know, something I just noticed, by the way, we always talk about round up or round down. Um, with a vertical number line, that really becomes obvious, huh? Because 66 rounds up to the 10 up here, 48 rounded up to the 10 up here, and then 81 rounds down to the 10 down here. So you got rounding up and rounding down. It's kind of intuitive, isn't it? And so um, let's just squeeze it back up here, and we're going to say... This rounds to, oops, 80. It rounds down to 80. And the last problem in this slide, in this uh, tutorial, Mrs. Mrs. Santos's weight is shown on the scale. Round the weight to the nearest 10 kilograms. So the first thing we have to do is read this scale, this uh, spring scale, it looks like. And, um, and the idea is you start at here at 0, and then you go to 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50. And then if you were to go one more, that would be 60. So not only is this 0, but it's also 60. So we can see that Mrs. Santos's weight is between, and I'm going to draw my number line, it is between 50 and 60. Smack dab in the middle is 55. And we can see that Mrs. Santos's weight looks to be about 1, 2, 3, I would say about 53. And we could zoom in if we want and say, yeah, that looks to be about 53. So we're going to zoom back out, and we're going to put her weight right around here. That's a good enough estimation. Now, does that round up, or does that round down? And it rounds down to 50. So her exact weight is 53 kilograms, and it weighs about 50. So it rounds down to about 50 kilograms. And that is... Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 12.